So Friday is the day that we have reserved for years for your good news. And this Friday, we meet a couple that decided to keep their wedding on the calendar and just told their guests to adjust. Here's Anusha Roy. No at first sight, K-N-O-W, no. Yeah. Not love at first sight, but it was a no at first sight for both of us. Kelsey Winters and Chris Shackelford said their relationship has been out of order. We, we, had already, we already knew we were going to get married. I knew she was going wedding dress shopping and I wanted her to have the ring. We just thought we'd continue the out of order. Which they were forced to do because of COVID-19. Each day we went, okay, this is plan B, plan C, plan D, plan mm -hmm. E. So now we say we're on plan Z. Kelsey and Chris were supposed to get married tomorrow, but they didn't cancel the ceremony because they remembered the reason they were tying the knot in the first place is bigger than just the two of them. I think it's huge for him. It's huge for their son, who Kelsey adopted 15 years ago. Go to fountains and you can throw the money in and make a wish. He would whisper in my ear, you know what I'm wishing for mom? I'm wishing for a dad. Canceling wasn't an option and the wedding ceremony was moved online. Our front yard. Yep. We jerry rigged <laughs> a little background thanks to Pinterest, which they're allowed to do within the stay at home order. They're inviting their friends, family and neighbors to join online. Our officiant most likely will be on Zoom on the laptop right here in the middle. Their girls are going to curl their hair and wear fancy dresses and different parents are going to have glasses of champagne like it's becoming this community celebration virtually. No, this isn't the wedding they planned. But it's still going to be great. <laughs> but they are grateful to share a reason to celebrate during such hard times. We just want folks to feel some happy. While committing to the very thing the two of them have been looking for from the start. Who will go through the boring and the extraordinary, the ordinary and the exciting. For Next, I'm Anusha Roy.